Good day, children. Today we are now in third grading of English grade three. Today we will learn about affixes. Are you ready? Words are formed by combining letters, by adding additional letters or syllables before or after a word. The meaning of the word may be changed. Did you know that affixes are letters or syllables added before or after a word? By adding affixes, the meaning of the word may be changed. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to read words with affixes. Kids, let us read and study the affixes, their meanings, and examples. Are you ready? Here are the example of prefixes. First one is an. The meaning of an is not. An example word is unknown. The second word is this. The meaning of this is not. And the example word is disapproves. Another word for prefixes is im. The meaning of im means not. And the example word is impatient. The second example is in. And the meaning of in is not. An example is incorrect. Another example of prefixes, miss. The meaning of miss, wrong. An example word, misbehave. And the second word, pre. And the meaning of pre, before. An example word, pre-made. Another example, anti, the meaning against. Example, anti-hero. Second, none, the meaning of none is opposite of. Example, non-stop. These are the example word for affixes. First one is est. The meaning of est is most. The example word with est is greatest. And the second one is ed. The meaning of ed is done. And the example word cook. Another example for suffixes. First one is less. The meaning of less is without. And the example word is fearless. Second one is full. The meaning of full is full of. And the example word is joyful. Another example for suffixes, first one is able. The meaning of able is can do, and the example word is valuable. Second, ish. The meaning of ish is somewhat like, and the example word is blackish. Basically, affixes are divided into two groups. First one is prefixes, and the second one is suffixes. For the learning task, number one, read the words below. Then, identify the base word and the affix used in each item. For number one, acceptable. From the word acceptable, the base word is accept. And the affix used is able. For the second word, dishonest. The base word from this anest is anest, and the fixed word is this. From the third word, incorrect, the base word from incorrect is correct, and the fix is in. From number four, the base word from colorful is color, and the fix used is full and for number five the base word from the word preview is view and a fixed use is pre okay let us continue for number six the word is prettiest 
from the word prettiest, the base word is pretty. And the fix use is est or est. And for number seven, the word is patterned. The base word from the word patterned is pattern. And the fix use is ed or ed. For number eight, the word is retell. The base word from the word retell is tell. And the fix use is re. For number nine, the word is unlock. The base word from the word unlock is lock. And the fix use is un. And for number 10, the word is jobless. The base word from jobless is job. And the fix use is less. These are the examples of words with affixes. Did you understand, children? Okay, children, please remember what you have learned today. Okay, let us spell the word affixes. A, F, F, I, X, E, S. Affixes. What is affixes? Affixes refers to the letters and or syllables added at the beginning or at the end of the base word. The meaning of the base word changes when affixes are added to it. Affixes are classified into two. First one is prefix and the second one is suffix. Prefixes are placed before the word while suffixes are added after the word. Here are the examples of prefixes. Prefix in base words perfect new word imperfect second on base word happy new word unhappy the third one is re, the base word is paint, and the new word is repaint. Here are the examples of suffixes. The first example of suffixes is full. The base word is help, and the new word is helpful. Second one is less. The base word is color, and the new word is colorless. Third one is er. The base word is farm, and the new word is farmer. Those are the example of suffixes. For the learning task number two, in each item, Identify and supply the correct prefix. Then write the new word form. Do this in your notebook. For learning task number three, in each item, identify and supply the correct suffix. Then write the new word form. Do this in your notebook. For the learning task number four, identify the word or words in each sentence that have affixes. Write your answer in your notebook. Here are the continuation of learning task number four. For the last activity in this lesson, in your notebook, complete the paragraph by selecting your answer for the given choices. 
Thank you children for watching and listening in this video. I know you have learned a lot. Please share your learnings to your classmates, friends, to your family or loved ones. Happy learnings! Goodbye! Thank you and God bless you. Please share and subscribe.